All right, today I want to go over some more examples of working with our order of operations. Um, but you need to first check out yesterday's video where I started out with some simpler ones before watching this one. This one I'm going to do some more difficult examples that um, involve quite a few more steps. So check out yesterday's video first. All right, so the first thing is I'm going to write my order of operations at the top so that I can refer to it. We know our saying is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract, in that order. So let's start off with one that's uh, not terribly hard, and it's going to be 5 squared plus 2 divided by 2 plus 1. So we know that we look at our parentheses first. In this case, we have two different sets of parentheses. Um, technically, you can do them at the same time, um, but normally we just work from left to right. So I'm going to start with this set of parentheses first. Um, so the first thing is, in this parentheses, we have an exponent and an addition. Exponent and addition. We know that exponents happen first, so I'm going to start with simplifying 5 squared, which is 25. And then 25 plus 2 is 27. Now that we don't have anything else to do in here, we don't need our parentheses anymore. So it's just 27. Um, and this, uh, all we have to do is 2 plus 1, which is 3. Bring that down. 27 divided by 3 should give you 9. Okay, let's look at another one. Um, again, not terribly hard just yet. 36 divided by... 3 plus 3 minus 3 times 2. So we've got division, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Now all of those things, uh, out of all of those things, the one that we got to focus on first is what's inside parentheses because we know parentheses is first. So inside the parentheses we want to take care of 3 plus 3 which is 6. I'm going to bring down everything else. Now I have division, subtraction, multiplication. We know that division and multiplication happen before subtraction. We can actually do these at the same time since they are split up by the minus sign. So 36 divided by 6 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. Bring down your minus sign. 6 minus 6 is 0. Okay, um, and let's do one more relatively easy one. 16 plus 8 divided by 4 minus 2. Again, we have two different sets of parentheses, so we can take care of those um, in the same step. 16 plus 8 is uh, 24. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then now 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay, example 4. I'm going to do 40 minus 4 times 2 plus 2 to the third power. So first thing we need to look at is what's inside of our parentheses. We have addition and an exponent. We know exponents come before addition. So 2 to the third power, type that in the calculator if you need to, it will give you 8. And then we can do 2 plus 8, which will give me 10. I'm going to bring down everything else that I haven't used yet, times 40 minus 4. So now I have subtraction and multiplication. We know multiplication is first before subtraction. 4 times 10 is 40. And then 40 minus 40 gives you 0. Okay, now I want to look at some that have um, a numerator and a denominator. Okay, so this is where uh, sometimes we, it gets a little bit tricky. So the first one let's look at is 4 times 6 plus 3 over 2 times 1 plus 2. Now, the way that I think you should do these is you should look at the numerator as its own problem and then come back and look at the denominator as its own problem. So, if I were just looking at the numerator, we know we got to take care of my parentheses first. 6 plus 3 is 9. So, I'm going to change that to 9. And then, 4 times 9 is 36. Now I'm going to come back and do my denominator. First we would do what's in the parentheses. 1 plus 2 is 3. I'm going to change that to 3. And then 2 times 3 is 6. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 
Now, if you'll type this in the calculator just like it looks using the fraction key, like I showed you last week, um, alpha, y, oops, alpha y equals, you can type that whole problem in just like it looks, 4 times 6 plus 3 over 2 times 1 plus 2. And it'll give you the same answer. You guys, I'm not asking you, or anybody can type it in the calculator. Um, I'm just asking you to use a calculator to check yourself. Okay, um, another one. This will be example six. Um, three squared times two plus three over two plus one times three. Again, when you have a numerator and a denominator, only worry about one part of the time. So at first, I'm just going to look at the numerator. Okay, so if I cover this up and I look at my numerator, we know parentheses first and then exponent. So first, inside my parentheses, 2 plus 3, that will give me 5. So I have 3 squared times 5. Now, next we would take care of our exponent, 3 squared, if you don't know what that is. In the calculator, it would give you 9. And then now, 9 times 5 gives me 45. So now I'll come back and I'll do my denominator. First I have parentheses, 2 plus 1 is 3. So I'm going to change that into 3. And then I have times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. There's really nothing else to do here, so I'm just going to bring it on over. 45 divided by 9 will give me 5. Okay, example 7. Let's do 3 plus 1 over... 12 minus 10, and then plus 16 divided by 8 plus 1. So um, we know what we've got here is we've got addition, subtraction. This means division, um, addition, division, and addition. So the first thing that we want to look at is we would want to look at our parentheses. Uh, parentheses is first, so the first thing we take care of is 16 divided by 8, which is 2. I'm going to go ahead and bring everything else down, plus 2, plus 1. I should have wrote that lower, but that's okay. So, um, now I have addition, subtraction, division, addition, and addition. Now, we know out of addition, subtraction, addition, division, and addition, division comes first, but I can't divide this until I simplify my numerator and my denominator, okay? You can sort of imagine that these have little imaginary parentheses on them. So before you can divide, we've got to simplify the top and the bottom. So the top simplifies 3 plus 1 is 4. The bottom, 12 minus 10 is 2. Before we uh, can add, we need to go ahead and simplify this further. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then now I just have 2 plus 2 plus 1, which is 5. Okay. Um, example 8. Uh, 10 divided by 3 squared plus 1 over 1 plus 2 squared plus 16. Okay, on this one, we've got a lot happening here. We've got division, another division in the form of a fraction, exponent plus, plus exponent, and plus. So um, the first thing that we want to do is there are no parentheses, but again, you want to sort of imagine that these have parentheses around them, and we want to take care of our exponents first. So here and here. So 3 squared is 9, and 2 squared is 4, and now I'm just going to bring everything else down. Okay, again, before we can do this division, we need to simplify the numerator and the denominator because, again, you're imagining that they have parentheses around them because they sort of do. Okay, so we want to simplify here. 9 plus 1 is 10. 1 plus 4 is 5. And then we want to take care of this division. 10 divided by 5 is 2. You might think you should do this one first. Well, it's really hard to take 10 and divide it by a fraction. It's easier if you simplify your fraction first. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now this division is easy. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 plus 16 is 21. And now let me show you. 
You can type this whole thing in the calculator just like it looks. As long as you carefully type it in, it will give you the same answer, and I'll show you. So, the first thing that you want to do is you want to just type in your 10, and then your divided by sign. Now here we have a fraction. To type in a fraction, you do alpha y equals, now I'm going to type all of that in on the top, 3 squared plus 1, 1 plus 2 squared on bottom, and then plus 16, and it gives you 21. Alright, two more. Um, let's do one that has parentheses inside of parentheses. So. Now these right here are called brackets, but think of those just like parentheses, okay? So, uh, you draw it a different way so that you can do one inside of another. Now, you would start with the parentheses that's furthest inside, so that would be here. 9 minus 3 is 6. I no longer need these parentheses. Okay, and I'm bringing down everything else. Now, these are still considered parentheses, so we would do that next. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then now 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay, again, you start with the parentheses that's furthest on the inside and then work your way out. All right, last one. 2 times 1 plus 4 squared divided by 10. All right, pay close attention to this one. Again, I have parentheses inside of parentheses. Now, we, I also have an exponent, but we know that parentheses comes before exponent. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take care of 1 plus 4, which is 5. So this is 5, that's my exponent, times 2. Now, now I want to do what's inside the parentheses, but before I can do this, I first have to take care of multiplication and exponent. We know that an exponent comes first, 5 squared is 25. 25 times, two, excuse me, 2 times 25 is 50, and then 50 divided by 10 gives you 5. And again, you can type this into the calculator. You would just use a regular set of parentheses here, and it would give you 5. All right, guys, um, take this next worksheet slow, the next worksheet on um, order of operations, one step at a time, and remember to keep showing your work. Check yourself in the calculator, but show me all of your steps. All right, see you all later.